Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. Today I have created this Wild Thoughts Rihanna in a Spirit Makeup. I know, I know, I know everybody has orange or red lipstick, but instead of that, everything I tried to do, I mean, just in a spirit, a lot of YouTubers, me including, but I just did not put the orange or red lipstick. And I hope you guys like it and enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Using the Versali oil, rose gold, and a few drops on my face. I have those gold particles. This is for my pigmentation. I'm gonna use. Don't drag it, just stab it. And now I'm gonna use this foundation. And that's number nine. It's a little dark for me, but today I'm a, I'm doing a makeup a little darker. Always I make it light. So I just want to see how I look with the darker tone. Worse come worse when you use a darker tone, you can use the lighter powder to make your foundation look little, I mean, overall look lighter. With the beauty blender, weight beauty blender, it's a damp, not a weight. I'm gonna blend in the foundation. Since I'm wearing a white um, blouse and a little bit high neck, I'm not gonna do today my neck because it's gonna look funny in the video if it stains. So excuse me for that. I'm using Morphe. Um, it's num honey uh, for my under eye um, concealer. I'm using a new beauty blender. Uh, I usually keep two beauty blender one is for the foundation one is for the concealer for myself not when I'm doing my client so in that case what happens I feel it that you don't lose the consistency of your concealer and your foundation we use this one for foundation this one for concealer and of course the other one for the powder so now I'm gonna set all my um, foundation routine with this powder it's a translucent white powder I'm baking this part with this powder and then all over my face I'm gonna use Laura Mercier this one today I'm gonna contour my nose with the Benefit Hola I love this product I love everything uh, from Benefit I just love their product everything benefit it's my favorite the second thought I am gonna do my contouring also today for a change from here with this so I'm taking my Mac 182 brush This part, like a C position from the ear, almost near the mouth line, and my definitely double chin underneath my double chin here, nose, and to make it a little sharper, this part. That's it.
Today I did my eyebrows off the camera but I use this three product to create my eyebrows because it takes long time to do the eyebrow every time so I thought uh, let me do it off the camera everybody knows and it's just a different time different product I use all youtuber use so this three product I use today and um, this is it and uh, very soon I'm gonna make a video only for eyebrows for because a lot of people you guys are asking um, how you can uh, create when you don't have hair how you can do eyebrows in different shapes so I'm gonna uh, go very detailed with uh, that video hope, very soon today I'm gonna use the blush and from Mac it's called X rocks it's a limited edition I believe long time ago I had it so I have a mood to apply this and using the brush 116 this one Always remember when you have foundation and concealer and other stuff on your face, don't press your blush and brush too harsh so they make a line. Very soft hand and a little bit pigmented color is better if too light then you have to apply and apply and you can make a line on the skin. I'm using my favorite, favorite, favorite eyelash color. Eyeball scoop. <laughs> my son calls eyeball scoop so I'm going to curl my lashes three times maybe four times this time and I'm going to apply the mascara today this one again benefit I love this there it came with the peer package I love it I gotta go and buy it this is a beautiful mascara I'm using soft ochre uh, in the top of the lids to add my eyeshadows I always do that and the other eyes also I did ahead of time I mean behind excuse me I did the other eye of camera so that it gets shorter the video same procedures I'm going to follow for this eye so don't worry as I said before I did my eyebrow ahead of time so today I'm using this palette and actually I'm using three palettes but this is the palette first I'm gonna use and then I'm using this color underneath my eyebrow using the Morphe um, oh my God, uh, 43 brush I believe this one without my glasses I cannot see properly so this is a very very pigmented color so just the high point of my eyebrows I'm gonna put it not all over the eyebrows I mean I'm not all over underneath the eyebrow just this part I'll explain right now why and the other side of the brush I'm taking from my vice palette this palette it's a little bit the first color from your left the pinkish tone I'm taking that one and just light pink peachy color see this both side and I'm gonna blend the reason if it is too much uh, frosted all over I believe it kind of uh, looks a little bit too much to me so and with your finger just blend in just see the middle part only the middle part I did oh, my eyebrows no matter how many times I put the gel these hairs always comes down so annoying okay now I'm gonna first create the transaction color with the Morphe um, can you believe this getting old is a crime R34 this one it's I love Morphe brush man I cannot even tell all Morphe brush I have all colors all 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 so from the same palette um, the when I'm going to do this month's uh, my favorite uh, product, I will talk about these palettes. I have few few more palettes, not only this one. And I'm going to take, uh, this is called Morocco and Madagascar. These two combination, see these two, I'm going to create my transition color very softly. If I close my eyes, you can see very lightly I did it. I did not overpower this orangish or the um, copper jorda color that one just spoke in Bangla too much 
just to create a little bit definition and depth I use that I think this is more than enough but blend it nicely and now I'm gonna switch the brush and take Morphe whatever my son is gonna put the number because I have to wear every time glasses I like this brush to create the color because you see how fluffy and soft and the pointy little bit not too pointy but little bit pointy so it, it's so easy to create the uh, color so this time I'm using the Egypt the color the green and saturating it all over my eyelids but don't go beyond my transaction color and as it is I have very big eyes I can play around but a little bit careful and I have under my eye the translucent powder so that when you are working with deep color a darker color be careful better be safe because no matter how many time you brushes still you leave some residue when you enlarge the pictures they shows and it's so see this the difference of this screen and this screen it's kind of a little dull that's why I had to take the help of my wise palette so this one is this palette and I'm using this color I'm using the brush it came with the color um, shadow box it's a very very powerful green so at this point I'm just dabbing 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 look at my dab bitch dab look at my dab bitch dab and not dragging just and then I'm gonna use the best brush in the world the name is finger brush with the finger I can actually press it and the color gets very dark that's what I wanted look at that so with my wipes I'm gonna clean my finger and now I'm gonna blend it a little bit in the corner and drag it a little bit here okay I'm talking a little slow sometimes because when I'm creating the shadow sometimes I'm just focusing too much and with a flat brush like this you take that same color from the wise and put it on the bottom of your eye now with the with this brush i use this brush but you can use any angle brush this is because it's gold you guys know anything gold even I have to show you guys my mirror come on hold on this is the mirror I'm working and doing the makeup both sides one is magnified and I'm, excuse the dirtiness that's completely golden and I got it from Target you should I have to show one day you guys my brush holders this is also golden color imagine and this is oh, it's too heavy but I have to hold this is also golden color so oh my gosh in my life everything has to be gold gold glow but today I wear my tennis bracelet all silver jewelry because my blouse has silver sequins I mean I like silver but I am a gold girl now come to the makeup again so I'm gonna take from this palette again this color with this angle brush and light in the corner of my eyes okay now what I'm gonna do again I just thought of what just take um, this blackish color and then mix with that green and just keep it a little bit depth here yeah, just a tiny tiny bit just to create the depth yeah I like it this way so that it's not all green now when you finish the look you think it's finished again take, take that transition color and just a little bit again blend it or 
go to adjust to kill the edges sharp edges just blend it a little bit it will give you the smooth surface and if you notice I'm gonna close the eyes for you guys this corner did you notice in the corner just again for a little bit of drama I have used the same color and then blend it again I'm not it's not gonna show at this point it's showing see how powerful it is but it's not gonna show I'm gonna blend it with that, that green color brush I used with that blending but and from underneath it's gonna give a nice um, definition so this time I'm not using any eyeliner I just feel like having only mascara and eyelashes so that's I'm just gonna do the kajal I like inner eyeliner and I will put the eyelashes and then put a green eyeliner just to hide the eyelash band that's all when you are not doing any eyeliner look or any uh, if you want if you want to create a very smoky um, look I always do that you just go on the top of your eye inner line and then you know stroke by stroke as if you're putting mascara do that top part of the eyes it will give you a very nice look put the eyelashes and then I'm gonna use the green color liquid eyeliner just to hide the lash band and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute when I put the uh, lashes I like to um, when it's little uh, dry I like to push it a little towards by the way I'm using uh, the um, Huda Beauty lash scarlet this one and using my all-time favorite house of lashes glue please uh, try this glue it's amazing the trick of this uh, glue is once you put it in the lash band just wait a few seconds and then apply it it's amazing it makes your lash game so easy so Huda lash and combination with um, the glue from house of lashes their lashes are also my favorite but huda lash is my all-time favorite anyway the um, eyeliner i'm using it's a press called prestige it's a green color it's a little frosted green usually i don't use it uh, normally like in a regular way but for this video i'm using it, it's like this and i'm gonna do it i have to go very close to because i have to bend the lash and go close so it's gonna show my roller so i'm gonna cut this part but this is what i'm using since we are almost done I just have to fix my hair of course and um, our eye makeup is done blush on is done contouring is done just a lipstick and highlighter so I'm using the hourglass this one for my highlight for my to do highlight here and my nose using this two color finally I have heard about this brush so much so this year I went for a beauty show I got few dose of colors brushes and this was I am telling you no wonder everybody loves this it's a pencil brush I will talk about it in my monthly favorite video I love to do this on my nose it really makes such a difference and a little bit just to just on the corner, not too much not too much just a little bit and now for my cheeks I'm using this is I use only for nose and for my cheeks what brush should I use what brush should I use again Morphe 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 I love your Morphe this one I'm using to highlight my cheekbones not enough 
enough once it's not enough you take more but take little by little you can see it no. But again, when in the matured skin, or if you have open pores, too much open pores, don't use too much highlighter. They will look very bad. I am an old lady, but fortunately, I don't have much open pores. My skin is good because my mother's skin is good. But I'm getting there. Getting old is not a crime but it's just a natural process a little bit on my cuticle i have used for my lip liner and my x my favorite lip pencil um urban cafe and today i'm going to use two lipstick combination one is galactic and another one is it's called grad cosmetics i love their this um lip glosses and uh, lip stains whatever you call them the beauty of this uh, product is they blend your lips so good and you don't have to re really reapply it at least eight to ten hours smells good looks good very stylish and it has a light when you're in the dark and it has a mirror so in one item so many qualities endless so first i'm gonna use the galactic one Now I'm going to use the Red Cosmetics one. My makeup is done, so I'm going to just set my makeup with Red Cosmetic again, the sleigh. I love it smells so good you can spray it all day long so if you like it you know what to do thumbs up and subscribe i need your subscription please subscribe my channel support me i am working my butt up working very hard so thank you very much thank you for your love and i love you all so keep loving yourself and distribute the love until next time, bye.